Hi everyone and welcome to our video on some exam questions related to cell organization. Our first exam question states, figure 1 shows a diagram of the human heart and there we have figure 1. Okay, What part of the heart is labelled A and we're given a range of options here. Now remember we have the atrium at the top and then we have the ventricle at the bottom. Okay, And they are separated via a valve so this structure a is the ventricle for one mark okay it says where does the pulmonary artery take blood to so the best way to remember this blood enters the heart via the vena cava and it's deoxygenated it enters the right side of the heart it's pumped into the ventricle and then the pulmonary artery takes it to collect oxygen from the lungs so the pulmonary artery takes it to the lungs to collect oxygen for one mark. Now it says circle a valve on figure one. And we've already done that over here. These are two possibilities you could have had. These are both valves. Okay. Next question. It says the coronary arteries supply blood to the heart. Figure 2 shows two coronary arteries. Describe two ways the healthy artery is different from the artery affected by coronary heart disease. So we have the healthy artery over here and we have the artery affected by coronary heart disease over here. Now we need to compare what's different between the two. And as you can see the healthy artery has more blood flow. So that could be one reason. The healthy artery has more blood flow okay now another difference is that the blocked artery has more fatty deposits restricting the amount of blood which is flowing so the affected artery has more fatty deposits so more fatty deposits and that's affecting that, that means restricted blood flow. Okay, so remember more fatty deposits on the affected artery. So on the affected artery. So there is restricted blood flow. And that would get you two marks. Okay. Next question, what can be used to treat people with coronary heart disease? So there are two key things. We have the stent, which is inserted into the blocked artery. And then we have the stati uh, statin, which is taken by the uh, patient every day. Okay, and that would be worth two marks. The next question says, suggest two risk factors for coronary heart disease. So remember, what increases the likelihood of developing coronary heart disease one of them could be smoking and the other one could be obesity okay or having a um, not having a balanced diet okay and another risk factor could be not exercising enough and not controlling your daily lifestyle this could be by alcohol smoking and maybe eating too much as well okay two marks there next question figure three shows the percentage of adults in the uk who have coronary heart disease it says calculate the difference in the percentage of male and female adults aged 65 and over who have coronary heart disease so the why bar is the female and the shaded in bar is the male now 65 or over female there are 10 percent and males there are 18 percent what's the difference it's eight percent for one mark and then finally it says which is the correct conclusion for the data in figure three children do not suffer from coronary heart disease so we have 18 to 54, they do 
there's a small percentage but they do suffer from coronary heart disease more males suffer from coronary heart disease than females and that is true as you can see the shaded bar is higher in every age group so the best conclusion there is the third one okay that would get you one mark and let's just have a look at the final point more younger people suffer from coronary heart disease than older people as you can see it's very common in older people than in younger people so you can't be that one as well okay next question catalase is an enzyme catalase con uh, controls the following reaction hydrogen peroxide produces water and oxygen a student did an investigation on catalase activity this is the method used and we have the method there the diagram below shows the experiment so we have the experiment over here okay now this experiment is carried out at 20 degrees and we have a table showing us the results now the first question says why did the student carry out the experiment three times at each temperature now we have a range of temperatures over here 10 degrees 20 degrees 30 degrees 40 degrees 50 degrees and 60 degrees and each time the test is repeated three times to calculate the mean average now what this actually does it shows the experiment is more repeatable okay so that means if we did it again with the same equipment we would get similar results okay that would get you one more the student um, thought one result was an anomaly. Circle the anomaly in the table above. So we have the temperature over here and one of these results over here are, is an anomaly. Okay, so he should have spotted the anomaly. It's over here. Okay, so we have 0 0.0, 3.3 and 3.1. That's the anomalous result. Okay what did the student do with the anomalous result so as you can see he's calculated the mean average but he's left the anomalous result out he's just used this value and this value to calculate the mean average so what did he do with the anomalous result he left it out and not used it in finding the mean average okay and that would be worth one mark okay it says look at the table above what conclusion can be made as the temperature increases so as the temperature increases Okay, so as the temperature increases, what happens to the maximum height of foam? Okay, so let's look at the mean. Goes 1.1, 3.2, 5.2. So it increases till this point and then this point it starts to decrease. Okay, so it increases initially and then it decreases. So it increases to 30 degrees and then after that it decreases so what conclusion can be made well it increases the rate of reaction up to 30 degrees and then of course it decreases okay that will get you one mark now at which temperature was catalase denatured so denatured means the active site has broken down and it no longer binds to the substrate so the mean is 0, 0.0 it's um, denatured at 60 degrees that's when the temperature is too high and the substrate no longer fits into the active site of the enzyme so what's it going to be it's going to be 60 degrees for one mark okay now it says the students thought that the optimum temperature for catalase activity was between 30 degrees and 40 degrees. How could the investigation be improved to find a more precise value for the optimum temperature? So he knows that it's between 30 degrees and 40 degrees. So what he could obviously do is 
repeat the experiment at 30 degrees, 35 degrees and 40 degrees to find a closer, more precise value for the optimum temperature. Okay, and that will get you one mark. We know it's not going to be the last two because we need to see the more precise value for the optimum temperature and we know it's between 30 degrees and 40 degrees so we need to do a test between that temperature range and it obviously can't be the first one because those temperatures are too high okay final question amylase is the enzyme that controls the breakdown of starch to glucose describe how their student could investigate the effect of ph on the breakdown of starch by amylase so because we're investigating the effect of pH, we're going to be changing the pH values. So we can choose maybe three or four pH values, or we could use a buffer solution. Okay. We could also do an iodine test. So we can also do an iodine test for starch. And we can observe uh, observe the color change. So we can observe the color change. Okay. And what you can do is you can repeat the test to get more repeatable results. So repeat and find the mean average okay you could also keep in some control variables you can keep the concentration of starch and amylase the same you can keep the same temperature using the water bath um, or an electric heater so an important control variable is keeping the same temperature And that would be worth four marks. And that is it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. And one last thing, please subscribe, hit the like button and the notification bell.